Okay, here I am. Um, just replaced this guy's shower valve. And um, the problem was when they went to take it, the old one apart, it was corroded up and they could not get the cartridge out. This is an old Delta, not too old, but old. Um, and in the process of doing it, the valve was damaged. Um, he decided to um, blame him, just take out the whole fiberglass um, enclosure, which was all the way up to the top of the wall there. So he pulled all that out. It made my job a lot easier. And basically, um, I repositioned this because this one here was for uh, fiberglass enclosure, which have a, has a very, very um, deep wall. So the wall thickness is way out here. So the valve had to be kept out. Every valve has one of these guys. This is to determine the thickness of the wall. So basically on this mowing that we replaced that old delta with, this is the area where the wall needs to land. So when they build the tile out or um, whatever they do, they need to make sure not come they might be able to get away with a quarter inch past this as far as wall thickness goes and that would be from the face of the stud um, they have about an inch and a half look at it like this you see that is at about an inch and a half so as long as they land that new tile in this area even if it's back here it should be fine and the reason for that is the trim is set up for a certain depth and then by depth I mean how far it's in or out of the wall Normally right near the face of the wall is good. For tile, I like to leave an inch and a quarter to the center of this. Um, because I was forced to pull it out a little bit further, this is a previous install, um, they put a two inch vent here. I'm kind of limited by where that copper is ran, so this might be an inch and a quarter to further back, but it's, it's reasonably close. I had to jog it in there for the shower head, still concealed, and um, and also down below, they had a, a seat right in this area, like a fiberglass shower enclosure might, and they had one in the other corner as well. And the plumber kind of um, took liberties and he had this water line cutting straight across to this hose bib over here. Well, it didn't matter um, 